as a chemist, it's your responsibility to know how chemicals react because two things that may appear to be perfectly safe sometimes have interesting reactions. Now, Luke, would you make a little volcano there with your finger so there's a place for McKinley to pour the chemical in there? Now, Luke, your job is going to be to provide the heat for the reaction. So hold your hands like this, rub them together. Does that produce heat or absorb heat? Um, produce. Are your hands getting hotter or colder? Hotter. Hotter, okay, so you're producing heat. Okay, McKinley, if you will pour the glycerin into that little volcano. And keep going until I say stop, keep going, keep going. Maybe a little around the sides, over on the other side there. Okay, now, Luke, you go ahead and hold your hands over the top of the... Thing. They're gonna, just rub them together, rub them together. A little harder, a little more heat, okay? This has nothing to do with the experiment at all. We're just killing time, waiting for the reaction to happen. So I'm just messing with you. Now, what's happening is the glycerin is absorbing into the potassium permanganate. And as it does that, it's changing it from a solid to a liquid. And then eventually it will start to smoke. And as it starts generating heat, it'll burst into flames. Whoa! There you go. Now, are we producing light? Yes. Are we producing heat? Yes. Do we have a change of color? Yes. Is there a definite odor? Yes. Yeah. 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 It'll smell like fireworks in a minute. And do we have a change of state? Yes. Yes, because yeah. produce a gas. So, is this a physical change or a chemical change? Chemical. And a round of applause for Luke and McKinley. All right.